of 67,000 outside for the moment there to honor the Wildcats of Kentucky their quarterback Andre Woodson while inside the playing of my old Kentucky home. We join in the celebration of 75 years of SEC football this afternoon from Commonwealth Stadium. The undefeated Tigers of LSU come in 6 and 0 against the 17th ranked Kentucky Wildcats 5 and 1 a moment ago jumping the gun the Tigers of LSU first on the field. And a rather patient rich books and the Kentucky Wildcats. everybody Vern Lundquist with Gary Danielson and Tracy Wolfson pretty good scene here huh a spectacular Saturday LSU makes its first visit in five years and they come in as number one in all three polls the Kentucky Wildcats meanwhile find themselves right in the thick of the SEC chase they did lose to South Carolina but they come in with a one and one record meanwhile out west off that epic victory last Saturday night the LSU Wild uh, Tigers three and oh in conference play and number one in all three of the polls as we said Gary Les Miles has become the latest coach now to go to a two quarterback system. Yeah it was a uh, once taboo remember you couldn't use two quarterbacks but success breeds imitation and LSU has two quarterbacks they're a little bit different one's a senior he's the pocket passer Matt Flynn but Paralu comes in and gives this offense another dimension one guy and the option guy is the second guy but remember Paralu is a thrower he was 20 for 25 against Middle Tennessee State I expect he'll throw the ball today but the heart and soul of this football team is Jacob Hester when things get tough Fourth down, I think, get tough. They go to this guy, Jacob Hester. He is money. He doesn't turn it over. And he's a first down and touchdown machine. On the other side of the coin, the Wildcats are led by Andre Woodson. Coming off a tough game, but over the course of the season, he's really been excellent. He's special. He really is. He's got his hands full in this football game. But Andre Woodson has the pedigree to carry a football team. He's been here through the tough times. He is a pure pocket passer. He doesn't do the Tebow thing from the shotgun and the spread. He'll be a sitting target in the pocket. Will LSU get to him? If they don't, he'll be a huge factor in the football game. Andre Woodson and the Wildcats, 5-1 and one for the year. LSU, as we said, undefeated. And a moment ago, Tracy Wolfson had a chance to chat with head coach Les Miles. Coach, your team is coming off an emotional win over Florida. How do you avoid a letdown today? Our team understands we're coming to play for victory. It happens every weekend in this conference. We understand it's 0-0 and the difference will be made by the guys wearing our helmets. So are you hiding any fourth down gambles in that pocket no, today? No, there's no, no hidden agenda. We're going to just go come to play. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thanks. This is the 55th meeting between these two. It was an annual get together between 1949 and 2002. Kentucky's last win in 1999. LSU won the toss. They have deferred, so Kentucky will get the ball to open the football game. Josh Jasper will kick off. Derek Locke and Keenan Burton are the two men deep. Jasper it's taken by Keenan Burton and he returns it to the 27 yard line tackle made by Danny McRae and the lineups presented by Applebee's Andre Woodson 65 percent gaudy stats 18 touchdowns two interceptions offensive line 
Christian Johnson gets the start at left guard and Zip Duncan normally on the left side moves over to the right side Burton and Steve Johnson are the wideouts. Raphael Little the leading ground gainer on the team not playing today because of a thigh bruise and Tony Dixon gets the start. Here's Woodson lofts it out. That's Dickey Lyons. They opened with three wides and Dickey Lyons gives Kentucky a first down defensively number one defense in the country up front awesome front four Jackson and Dorsey and favorite and Pittman the linebackers Sanders Beckwith and Highsmith and the secondary it's a good one as well Zenon Stelz Taylor and Jackson and Les Miles the head coach 28 and 4 as a head coach Here's the handoff Dixon going left the down marker on the far side had not been changed that was a first down play though it said number two so uh, flag the chain gang <laughs> now this LSU defense Gary it's just uh, an outstanding 11 and everybody says the same thing about them they not only have uh, dominating players at each level but they have a front four that is a mismatch to the front five for the offensive line. That'll be the key to the football game for Kentucky. Can they keep that wave off Woodson? Second and six. Woodson quick setup inside slant. And uh, Craig Stelz is there to knock it away. Crowd thought there might have been a little contact. That is a matchup that Kentucky loves in this football game. Tammy against Stelts. Tammy is an ex wide receiver made into a slash tight end. Stelts is a ball hawking leading tackler in the secondary. But if you look at the tapes and the games we've saw, seen, South Carolina picked on him, and they, Kentucky believes they can also. He comes right, drills it. He has a man open at the 50 yard line. First down, Kentucky, Keenan Burton. The ninth, number 19, senior out of Louisville. There are a lot of great receivers in modern day college football, but Keenan Burton is one of the best. He has impeccable timing. Look how he saved his hands and went up and caught it at the last second. He is smooth, acrobatic, and fast. And on first down, the flip out to the right to Dickey Lyons, number 12. Well, Rich Brooks came in to replace Guy Morris. The program was uh, on probation in the NCAA. His first year, he had 68 scholarships, and he told us he had one player on the roster who could run under 4-5 in the 40. And uh, they stuck with him, Mitch Barnhart, the athletic director, despite uh, four seven seasons, 2-9, 3-8. And they turned it around, it seems, last year with an eight and five record. And he now, not so coincidentally, says he's got 15 guys. That's at the right. That's five. a big difference. You can compete with 15. You can't with one. Woodson back. Deep right side. Burton's down there. Double coverage. Burton. Incomplete. That was so close. This was into a corner blitz. When you're running a deep ball into a corner blitz, you beat the coverage. You knew it was coming. You can see it. It's the safety, Curtis Taylor, who thought it was going to be a short pass, and that ball should have been caught right down to the one yard. And what an excellent call by Kentucky, anticipating it and having a key drop. That's you got to make those plays. You got a chance to beat this team. You got to make those types of plays. That's two drops already by your number one receiver. And so on third and five, Woodson back, pumps, finds Lions first down at the 30 yard line. How about that protection? Could this Kentucky team give their quarterback time? Ooh, they got him stunting early. The snap count caught LSU off balance, and that's what allowed Lions to get open, matched up again on a safety. Mario Ford starts in motion to provide blocking help with Dixon down to the 11-yard line. 
Gary Beckwith, number 48, with the tackle. This is the eighth play of the drive in a scoreless first quarter. Dixon again, right side. That's going to be marked short of the 10. Glenn Dorsey makes the tackle, the All-American number 72. Now this uh, LSU defense prior to last Saturday night was yielding 39 yards per game on the ground. Florida totaled 156, so the average escalated to just under 60. Dixon will be the running back. It's third and a foot. Quick count, great call. And the mark will come inside the 10. That should be enough to give Kentucky a first and goal. It is. Wildcats, after they lost that 49 0 game, went on the road and won at Mississippi State. And that made them 4 and 4. They came back here and they defeated Georgia. Jacob Tammy, the tight end, said it was so significant he found himself in tears on the field after the game. They slip it. Dixon to the one. Derry Beckwith with the tackle and another conversion. They're moving the ball against the number one defense in the country. Well, Joker Phillips is the offensive coordinator. He's up in the box. But when Andre Woodson turns around and looks around for the play call, he looks to Randy Sanders, his quarterback coach. We all know Randy from Tennessee. He's come here, done a great job, along with Joker Phillips with Andre Woodson. Three running backs now. Power set. Play action. Woodson rolls out. He's got a man in his face. It's tipped and caught for a touchdown. T.C. Drake, the second team tight end, First catch, first TD catch, obviously. Kentucky leads by six. Andre Woodson now for the season, 19 touchdown passes. Lonis Sieber with the extra point. He's 27 of 30 this year. This one is good. Well, we called it as a rollout, and that's what happened. You're going to see Woodson roll out, and he really had two players wide open he could have thrown. And Stelz gets a piece of it. It's tipped back to Drake. But on that play, both Tammy, who he was throwing the ball to, and Drake, who was the trailer, could have caught it for touchdown. And Woodson says, Woo! That is not. Andre Woodson and the Wildcats had a short field set up by the 21 yard punt, but they went 49 yards in 12 plays and chewed almost five minutes off the clock. T.C. Drake from Andre Woodson. Woodson was three of five on the drive. Well, here's the kickoff from Mass Day. Trendon Holiday, Keelan Williams are the deep men. They kick it right and right into the hands of Trendon Holiday with a little stutter step. He hangs on to the ball. He's down at the 21 yard line. Matt Flynn, senior from Tyler, Texas, bothered by a high ankle sprain, suffered in the second quarter of the second game against Virginia Tech. Black, Johnson, Helms, Hit, and Stewart, the offensive line. The wideouts, LaFell and Mitchell, Jacob Hester, Quinn Johnson, the running backs, and the tight end, Richard Dixon. First down, 10. Roll right. Good downfield coverage, and he throws it away. Out to the 24. Defensively for Kentucky under new coordinator Steve Brown, Jarman, Peters, Pryor, and Lewis. Up front, the linebackers. Maxwell gets a start for Johnny Williams out with an injury. Woodyard is the best of the bunch. And in the secondary, Ashton Cobb gets a start for the injured Marcus McClinton. Four starters out with injuries for Kentucky 
in this ball game. Second down and six. And off left side. Holiday. Oh. Oh, he's so close to breaking it. And this is a guy we've told you in the last few weeks, second in the 100 meter dash in the NCAA's last quarter. I think he scores if he doesn't trip over Jared Mitchell, his old guy. Watch him go north south and he squirts through and he trips over Mitchell's foot because once he gets ahead of steam, there ain't any minute. Well, there's not even a track guy around here that can catch him. There's only one guy we know of and he ain't here. As a high school uh, senior, he was timed in 4.28 in the 40. Here's Flynn. Play fake. Nailed. Back at the 44. Ventrell Jenkins, number 95, third sack of the season. It has to work together. You get a good pass rush because you get good coverage downfield. Now, this front four, Matt Flynn looks out. Play action pass. Doesn't have it. Lindley just blankets Brandon LaFell. He doesn't let go of the ball, and there's a sack. Ryan Perilou comes on to replace Finn. Lindley, number 32, is following LaFell all over the field. He's at the top of the screen up there right now. That's the matchup Kentucky likes. Deep handoff. Charles Scott, watch out. Stiff arm. Foot race. Almost caught from behind and forced out of bounds. Just outside the end zone. This is what LSU has going for them. Last week it was Hester. Now they've got all these guys, Scott and Williams and Holiday, who were begging for the ball last week. And they're not, they're not looking forward. They're looking for a chance to prove that they can play again. And here's another touchdown type guy, Scott. Has four touchdowns already, shows why he's a touchdown maker also. 55 yard gain, brought down just inside the one on the final play of the first quarter. That's the end of one with Kentucky leading the top ranked team in the country. Seven zip will return to Commonwealth Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. Just another average weekend in Lexington. They're racing at Keeneland. Billy Gillespie, the new coach in basketball, had 23,000 out for Big Blue Madness last night. And Kentucky takes on the top-ranked team in the country. And that top-ranked team, as we open the second quarter, has a first and goal with Charles Scott, the tailback. He gets the handoff and gets rewarded for the touchdown after he had completed the 55-yard run. Let's again point out why LSU has a chance to run the table. Not only are they extremely gifted, but they're extremely deep. Four different tailbacks, two quarterbacks, four wide receivers, and they're not even playing their best one in this game to set. That's why they're tough to beat. Colt David is five extra points away from tying the all-time record at LSU. He's perfect for this year. And he ties it up. Charles Scott, a sophomore, 55 yard run to set up the equalizing touchdown. Then he plunges one yard to get it. Welcome back to Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington this uh, spectacular Saturday afternoon. Vern Lundquist, Gary Danielson, Tracy Wolfson, and LSU. Notches the score, the big run, 55 yards, Charles Scott. He gets rewarded by covering a kickoff after the <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> That's right. Okay, you ran 55, now run 55 <laughs> again. And make a tackle. Keenan Burton has it. Right side, got some room. He's out across the 30 to the 32. Well, playing contain on the right side, and Kirsten Pittman is there to make the tackle. Pittman with one of the big plays last Saturday night. Uh, he had the interception that set up the go ahead touchdown. Yeah that was the ball that bounced off uh, I think uh, Curtis in uh, Ingram's uh, helmet that time. But uh, you're seeing it right now. You stuff the play inside. Dorsey stuffs it. Favorite stuffs it. And those linebackers and defensive ends Pittman and Jackson make the tackles. And so it's third and ten officially. 
the spread is a much better formation for Kentucky than that two back offense. Third down passing Woodson is four of six Pittman changes and then rushes from the middle Woodson down the middle contact from behind. That's going to be called on Jonathan Zenon and just to make sure we've got three hankies on the turf. They might pick this up though because the ball was tipped. Video evidence shows that number 49 tipped the ball at the line of scrimmage. It will be fourth down. They got it right. Yeah everybody knew that Rich Brooks knew it. The players on Kentucky knew it. Everybody knew that at that play the ball was tipped and uh, now instead of a first down at the 40 ish yard line. Kentucky's forced to punt and give the ball back to this LSU offense. Tim Maste is on to punt. Jared Mitchell is back at the 10 yard line. Maste's kicked the heck out of the football today, but it's gone into the end zone. This one high and short. He's kicking into the wind and. Uh, Takes a little turn to the right, comes to a stop just inside the 20. 35 yard punt return. CBS Sports coverage of the Home Depot SEC will continue after this word from your local station. Back in Lexington, 7 7 ballgate. Trendon Holiday's in the backfield. Matt Flynn has it. He'll run. He tucks that one pretty quickly. Was that designed? Looked like it might have been. I, I think a lot of players were confused there. Bird, Demetrius Bird thought it was a run. Some players thought it was a pass, and that made Flynn have to go up and scramble on the play. Bird was blocking in the secondary on that play, and here comes Paralu again. All right. Paralu in. Charles Scott is in. Charles Scott with the big play of the game. When will Paralu throw a pass? It's coming. I'm telling you, it is coming. He's only thrown five since he got the start against Middle Tennessee State. Here's Scott, right side. Driven down at the 30, but that's good for a first down. Mentioned the big play. That was the 55-yard run by Charles Scott. And that big play was preceded by a Trendon Holiday 18-yard run as LSU came back and tied it 7-7. Now Flynn's back in. Well. As we talked about in the open, Les Miles believes his team is better when both play. I agree with him. And, you know, once somebody has success with something like Florida did last year, everyone is going to copy it. Kentucky brings four. Flynn back. He's got to run. One on one as he goes left. And Flynn looks like the guy who started against yep. Mississippi State. It's going to be 15 more tacked onto it, I believe, too. And you could see the 4 6 speed right there. That is what been missing. Ashton Cobb, number 27. Now, come on, this is third and almost 20 yards. You break out. Number 27, Cobb, has a beat on him. He runs right by him for the first down and a late hit by Warford, isn't it? Yes. Well, Matt. Veering out. Oh, you got it. That's that's a call. Paul Warford right there. There was a questionable one that last week against uh, Tebow and right there Flynn gets one 15 more yards and what looked like a stop for this defense has turned into a scoring opportunity for LSU. And it becomes first down and 10 at the 18. 637 to go tie game undefeated top ranked LSU. Here's Flynn. Inside to Charles Scott. And he gets down to the 13 yard line. It'll bring up third down. Both of these teams excel at third down conversions, no matter what the distance. And uh, LSU in this ball game is now two of four for the season, 49%. Well, this is where you got to look now for Richard Dirksen. They're outstanding receiving tight end also on this team. He finds ways to get open. Is he even in the game? He's not. That means they're going to bring in Zinger and have him block right here. He's Zinger, the tight end number 89, is tight right. He's blocking. Here's Flynn, play action. Pulls up, goes into the left corner for LaFell. Incomplete. Stripped away by the best corner on this Kentucky team, Javard Lindley. Well, fourth down, Les Miles a week ago went for it five times and got all five. Right. He'll go for the field goal here. Maybe. 
<laughs> He's called two fake field goals this year. Now Good what's, catch. What's happened with the fake field goals is I think you'll see Kentucky play very conservative and not really rush and kind of concede the field goal. Colt David is on. He missed two the other night. 37 and 43. This is from 31. Look how safe they're playing. A lot of guys standing up, protecting, no rush. Glenn puts it down. The kick is up, and it is good. It was an exciting ride on that drive. We had a 48-yard pass call back. We had a third and 18 right. converted. We had a play reversed to and, college football. And, and something you don't see very often is a field goal from LSU. Demetrius Bird should have had the catch. Instead, he's in anguish. Really important now for Kentucky. LSU has just had two back-to-back -back drives of long distance. That Kentucky defense, there's more depth than there was before, but they're starting to suck wind. The Kentucky offense, even if they don't score, must make two or three first downs and give them a blow. Josh Jasper, now one of two kickoff specialists for this LSU team. He and Andrew Crutchfield have shared the duties today. And this is Jasper. Derek Locke and Keenan Burton are deep. It's Burton. There's a flag back at the line of scrimmage. Burton breaks loose down the right side. Dickey Lyons in the slot to the left. Woodson play fake with a lot of time. Comes left. There's contact. The ball is intercepted at the play stands. Chevis Jackson got it. There is no flag. And Andre Woodson, who threw for 325 passes without an interception last year to this, has been intercepted for the third time in the last three games. Well, Keenan Burton just has to start playing football in this football game. I'm sorry, he's a great player, but you can't allow the DB to beat you to the ball. You're in front of him by three yards, and Chevis Jackson wants it more than you do. That's it. I mean, this is a decent throw. It should be at least an incomplete pass. Burton slows down, and Jackson does not. That's You can't have that. You can't knock off the number one team playing three-quarter speed. First down and 10 after the penalty. Williams and Hester. Jacob Hester is the blocking back, and Keelan Williams goes right. There's a fumble. Recovered by LSU. Now let's really look at how important this drive is. Remember, LSU gets the ball to start the second half. They've got this defense wore down. It's one of the reasons Les Miles went for it on fourth down. He feels he's got a tired defense. He's now caught a break with a penalty. He sticks it in here. It's 17 7 with the ball coming out at halftime. Richard Murphy, the fourth string. Running back is on the field. Trendon Holidays to the right. On second down, they hand it off to Murphy. He goes right. Only the 21st carry of the season for the guy listed as number four. 10 7 ball game. Kentucky scored first. LSU has come back with a long run, 55 yards. Charles Scott to set up a one yard touchdown run. That tied it. And then Cole David with a 31-yard field goal. It's 10-7. Les Miles' team is driving. Well, I'd be thinking Perilou. Is Perilou in the game? I can't quite see. He is not. Well, that option play has been so good to them on third down. Charles Scott is the running back. Tolliver in the slot to the left. They toss it. Scott comes right. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, LSU. Team has so many ways, just so many ways. Scott with his second touchdown of the afternoon and his sixth of the season. And remember, we talked about the guys that really weren't part of that Florida game, Williams and Scott. They're dying to play out here. They're not overlooking anything. They want the ball. Colt David out of Matt Flynn's hold. The snap is Jacob O'Hare. Up and good. Colt David, perfect 31 of 31 for the season. Well, we thought maybe they'd uh, run an option. What do they do? They run a kind of an inside pitch. Off tackle with the pitch, and that guy can get to the end zone. 
on the sidelines in his third year the head coach Les Miles. Les Miles is not one to hide his emotions. Here's the kick taken by Burton at the five coming left. And he's uh, halted at the 21 yard line. First down and 10. Dixon comes left. Out of bounds. Just a footnote. Remember on the previous kickoff that was offside yep. on number 11, and I said Paralu is on the kicking team? He was. He was. Yes. Wow. You come to LSU to play football, by golly, you play football. <laughs> All well, parts of it. See here, Kentucky has to be careful. They do not want to punt again. I I'm telling you. They right now they want to get out of this half. Running out of bounds. LSU has two timeouts. Les Miles will call timeout if they don't move the ball here. Here's Woodson back. Under pressure, throws it left side. Tammy Big. with the catch. Yep, it sure was. That's good for a first down. That's the matchup that I think that Kentucky has to go at more and more and more. Once you establish Tammy against the safeties, and I think he can do it, you know, six, seven, eight catches in this game. That'll open up the outside for Burton and Lyons and Johnson. Jacob Tammy, already a graduate of the University of Kentucky, intends on going into marketing someday. First down and 10. Woodson has time, goes deep left side. He's got Steve Johnson. Caught! Chavis Jackson got mixed up. Steve Johnson, who was the hero of the win here over Louisville, with a huge play. You must throw the ball deep if you're a passing team. Steve Johnson looking back. He's comfortable. The ball's in the air. Jackson out of sorts a bit. Johnson comes back and gets it and puts it into a position to score or at least a field goal. Derek Locke on the field for the first time. He gives the block to Woodson. The diving try is incomplete for Dickie Lyons Jr. Well, they uh, they played Louisville early in the season, and the big play, 57 yards with 32 seconds to go. Woodson to a wide open Steve Johnson, and at long last, Kentucky had prevailed over the Cardinals. Keenan Burton said that was the greatest night of his football career. Monsell Allen, a freshman tailback, is on now, number 30. From the state of Louisiana, by the way, displaced from, in Katrina. Yes, from New Orleans. High school teammate of Dickie Lyons. He goes out, Woodson pulls up the run, and he will score. My, how significant for the Wildcats. Lona Siebert, Andre Woodson, who is not a running quarterback. No, he's not, but that, you could have drove a truck through that one. Lona Siebert with the extra point. Kentucky has cut it to three at the end of 30 minutes of play here at Common Well Stadium. Tracy Wolfson is with Rich Brooks. Thanks a lot. Coach, you said in order to have a chance to win, you had to be in it in the fourth quarter. You're halfway there. What do you need to do to keep this going? Well, we certainly don't need to throw them the ball again, but uh, we just need to keep mixing it up. And they gashed us uh, on two long runs. We got to clean that up. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm not unhappy with where we are. We just have to do a better job of moving the football on the ground. They're, they're very difficult to run against. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. All right, Tracy, thank you. The last drive that got them right back in the thick of things when it looked like they might be out of it. First, the catch by Steve Johnson over Chevis Jackson, and then the absolutely unexpected run on the defensive breakdown, Woodson for 12. The extra point good. It's 17 to 14 at the break. Commonwealth Stadium, Lexington, Kentucky, a crowd in excess of 70,000 has gathered. Fourth largest attendance ever for a Kentucky home football game. And the Wildcats scored last before the half to cut the margin to 17 14 against the top ranked team in the country. And Les Miles Bunch gets the football to open quarter number three. Tim Maste 
about to kick off for the 50th time. He's had 12 touchbacks this year. And this one will be returned by Trendon Holiday from the five. Skirts the sidelines. He's still in bounds. And finally out of bounds at the 47. That just highlights that they should have made him kick again at the end of the other half. Moments ago, Tracy Wolfson with LSU head coach Les Miles. Coach, you gave up 168 total yards in the first half. You only do that 197 per game. What do you have to do? Big plays. They make a big, couple big plays on us in the uh, throwing game. We got to stop that. We got to get in that uh, quarterback's uh, in that backfield a little bit more. Is there any hangover from this team? No hangover. We know. Hey, we knew this was going to be a heck of a game. This team's five and one. They playing their butts off at home. We knew we had to come to play. We will. Thanks a lot. There's something about Tracy Wolfson's wow. questions that get Les Miles going. <laughs> nice job, Trace. Here's Holiday. Tries to bounce to the outside. Got a little bit of a block from Matt Flynn, and then he's driven down by Paul Wolford. Well, one big play given up, really, but that was that 51-yard pass right before the half to set up the touchdown. Yes, uh, but, you know, I like what Kentucky's in the football game. They survived. It kind of reminds me, remember back the Arkansas game, they were down late. They returned a fumble to get back in the game against Arkansas. The big pass is equal to that fumble recovery. Now they're back in this football game. They've matched up okay. Let's see what they do with this first drive. Will Flynn start throwing the ball? LSU's had success running, but nothing in the throwing game. Matter of fact, Matt Flynn is 5 for 14. Throwing the ball, the handoff. Right side, it goes to Jacob Hester. Uh, let's check, uh, Gary, the first half trends in this battle between LSU. Well, that's what uh, Tracy Kentucky. was talking about. Kentucky got that long pass at the end, and, uh, you know, they don't give up a lot of yards. LSU doesn't, but uh, Kentucky shows their offense will work. There's the rushing yards. Kentucky did it in the first quarter, but nothing since then. And Matt Flynn missed six out of the last seven. He was bailed out on that fourth down call on the interference. Remember that one. Trendon Holiday split wide left Flynn back right side underneath to Brandon LaFell he's got a first down plus at the 25 yard line I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you this this offense has got a little of everything Gary Croton their offensive coordinator does a great job this is the wide receiver screen fake one way go the other way nice block by Mitchell goes up on his man on the slot and then wipes off to the outside, very similar to that offense that was run last year by Jimbo Fisher when early to set. And, you know, it, it was just a, you could see him all over the field making those wide receiver screens like that. Brandon LaFell wears number one because of his admiration for Hall of Famer Warren Moon. Here's Flynn back inside, caught by Mitchell. And that should be enough to give them a first down and goal. Dominic Lewis with the tackle. See, here, here's the problem with LSU. They, they run in the first half for 180 yards. They're not throwing the ball well. They probably look at the stats just like we do and say, all right, they're going to load up. Kentucky is on the run. Let's loosen them up with the screens and with the wide receiver quick hits and stuff like that. It's really a great balanced offense. And now they're going to bring in the option quarterback, which is so valuable down here near the goal line. Three tight ends. Dixon comes left with Keith Zinger, the third tight end. Mitt Cole is to the right side. Backs in the eye. Paralu hands it to the tailback. Nothing doing. Jacob Hester. Jeremy Jarman, number 99, with the tackle. Second goal. It's not like... Kentucky is getting outclassed. It's just the dynamics of this LSU offense. They have a lot of weapons, and you almost have to force them into a mistake because they'll just keep picking away at you and finding a way to make a big play. 11th play of this drive, the open third quarter. Charles Scott and Jacob Hester now. Hester moves into the fullback position. Play action pass down here. Flynn is the quarterback. Play action. Goes in the corner. Dixon. Touchdown, LSU. And Flynn's limping. He tweaked it. 
I thought he might have tweaked it on that hit on the broken play earlier. I think he did. I think he might have tweaked it early. That one was an easy just drop back and throw it. I think it happened on that play when we said, you know, how did he, how did, what happened on that play and who got the hit and when Jeremy Jarman got that hit. Right. Colt David for the extra point. Flynn will hold. Extra point is good. Richard Dixon from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Had a touchdown catch against South Carolina. Gets this one to extend the LSU oh, lead. He's definitely limping on the play. A little play action pass. Dixon's going to slide out. Second down is play action down. We all know it. You don't have to be any great predictor to know that. Everybody on second and five likes to call those tight ends to the outside. And this one was wide open. Got two quarterbacks. Les Miles says use two quarterbacks. And Flynn is happy. Carolou's happy. LSU is happy. 52 yards, 11 plays. It took 548, and Dixon caught it from Matt Flynn. Josh Jasper will kick off. Returnable. Burton at the nine. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Woodson back. Here comes Taylor. The ball is away and intercepted by Chad Jones. Picked off by Chad Jones, number three. And Woodson has been intercepted for the second time this afternoon. This is something Bo Pelini likes to do. He saves a gimmick defense for the second half so that at halftime, Kentucky has no opportunity. It was exactly like Byrne called it. Curtis Taylor, who gets the kit, and the ball flutters on the play. Curtis Taylor's right there. Watch him come in. Comes in free. And as Woodson lets it go, the ball does not come out cleanly. Does not obviously go deep enough. And there's the interception. Fake blitz. Drop back a free safety. Get a turnover again on first down. What beautiful country this is with the horse farms outside of Lexington. And Keeneland racing going on. By the way, the winner of the ninth race at Keeneland yesterday was a horse called Stylish Wildcat. Nice name. Yeah. Ryan Perilou replaces Matt Flynn on first down. He did get enough. Here's a look with the pistol, the little pistol, the six shooter right here. <laughs> and he backs up. Perilou, right side. He got tripped, I believe, by I, one of his own guys as he threw the ball. I think one of his offensive linemen took Perilou's feet out from under him. Looked like it was Saron Black, number 70, the left tackle. Perilou fakes the option. LSU's going for it all. It was. He stepped on Saron Black's foot. Foot to foot. <laughs> Saron Black, who was a high school teammate of Matt Flynn's in Tyler, Texas. Saron Black said it came down to a choice between LSU or Texas. And he went across the border. Second down and 10. Hester Flynn. Well, he doesn't show any gimpiness on that no, one. He's got the Jim Brown limp on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Right? Yes. Oh, it's back to the huddle. We got him now, and he comes back. The last thing Matt Flynn wants to do is to go through another three weeks of everybody talking about his ankle. Now, straight ahead speed is different than side to side speed. This is a keeper right up the middle this time. And boy, the, the, the number of different ways LSU attacks you, it, it, it's really fun to watch. 216 yards rushing. For LSU, they average per game 227. Here's Holiday at 5'5, 160, and that's uh, a gain of either 9 or 10. We talk about Trin and Holiday. He's not just a fast guy, he's a north south guy. And this time, you got a track guy, one of the best in the country running north south. Now, we talked about how this defense might be gassed. The last four possessions for Kentucky. 17 seconds, 37 seconds, 18 seconds, and the last one was a minute before three plays a turnover. That's why I'm saying this Kentucky defense is soft. Too much offense right now. Second down and one. Yeah. 
Hester, first down. Five. 09 to go. The clock stopped as they moved the chain. Les Miles, 53 years of age. Michigan grad, 76. Coach for Bo Schembechler. Actually, he asked Bo Schembechler for a job as a graduate assistant on three different occasions before Schembechler said, you really want to do this? Les Miles took a cut in pay from $50,000 to $8,500 per year when he took that job. He was a trucking executive. Here's Flynn. Yet as he lets it go, it's incomplete. It'll be second down. Married to Catherine, who was an assistant basketball coach, women's basketball coach, and the parents of four children. Second and ten. Charles Scott, Sean Jordan in the eye. Matt Flynn, the quarterback, hands it off to Scott. It'll be third down. Jeremy Jarman with the tackle. I mean, that's good resume for South Florida. Third and eight. This is the tenth play of the drive. LSU up by ten. Here's Holiday. They fake it to him. Right Flynn open. pulls up. He's got Zinger in the end zone. And Zinger can't. It, it was over his head. <laughs> that was being very kind. <laughs> that, Zinger's known as the blocking tight end. He earned his reputation on this one. I think this was put feathered in beautifully. That's Zinger. very subtly put, by the way. <laughs> Watch this feather shot right here from Flynn. I thought this ball could have easily been caught. And he had one hand going one way and one hand going the other way. And Flynn goes, uh-oh. I guess that's why he's referred to as our blocking tight end. That should have been seven points. Cole David on for the field goal. On fourth down, this will be a field goal try from 30 yards away. Kentucky plays safe. Flynn puts it down. Cole David kicks it up and three. So he's two of two today, Colt David. Junior out of Grapevine, Texas. And LSU is dominated here in the third quarter. But a huge spot by Kentucky. They're in the game. 3.49 to go third quarter, 27-14. 58 plays for LSU, 38 plays for Kentucky. And Jeremy Jarman, number 99, looks a little weary on that bench. He's been out there for a long time. Jarman, the sophomore, we mentioned earlier, a member of the Thespian Club in high school at Houston High School in Collierville, Tennessee. More on that in a moment. <laughs> he looks tired there, and that's after two minutes of rest. Yes. Well, Jeremy Jarman starred in a stage production of A Few Good Men, made famous by Jack Nicholson in the movie. Here's the kickoff. It's going oh, to be no. brought out by Derek Locke. Wow. Oh, no. oh, gee. Down at the 17-yard line. First down and 10. 27-14, 13 13-point lead by the undefeated LSU Tigers. Flip out right side, Dixon. Fumble! Ball is loose. And it went out of bounds, I believe, before sure LSU could recover. <laughs> that will be Kentucky possession. It sure did. Ball was hit from behind. I think it was one of the defensive linemen that got the hand on it, poked it right out. A little fumble by their offense, forward out of bounds. The ball will be brought back to the spot of the foul. It'll be a first down. I think he meant fumble. Let's see who gets their hand on it. It's not high spit. It's the next person coming in. Al Woods. Al Woods it was. And watch this ball. Woods has it for a second, and he really throws it out himself trying to catch the ball. Nothing you can do about it. First down and 10. Right side. Lock. Inside the 30. Gain of 16 for Derek Locke, who came to Kentucky on a track scholarship. Yeah, he really broke through in that fourth quarter against Arkansas when he ran the ball with three of his tailbacks in front of him injured, ran it nine times, scored a touchdown, had almost 50 yards, 48 yards, and uh, he's come through for them again here, giving that tailback position a little pop here. Two freshmen out of Hugo, Oklahoma. 
Here's Woodson, right side. Broken tackle, Steve Johnson. Wait, do you notice? You gotta really give it to Joker Phillips here. He has not come out of his game plan. They're continuing to run the ball just enough and throw their quick passes to the outside. This one is in and out of the hands of the quarterback. Missed tackle to the outside by Xenon. And boy, this Kentucky team only down 13. And he gets the handoff right up the middle over Eric Scott and to Marlon Favorite and Kirsten Pittman. It's a second down and four. Kentucky trails by 13. Andre Woodson into the end zone. Caught, touchdown. Easy, easy. Jacob Tammy, the tight end. So easy. That's the matchup down there. We saw the drop touchdown pass by LSU. Tammy, a senior from Danville, Kentucky. Offered a scholarship here by Guy Morris, the previous coach. He missed his visit here because he played <laughs> for Danville High. They had won 47 in a row. That's his wife, Allison. They have won 47 in a row, lost on a Friday night. He did not make the visit because he was heart sick. And because of probation scholarship limitations, the offer was withdrawn. Then given back to him. Watch this head fake, Vern. This is when you withdraw a scholarship, you give it back because a guy can do this. A former wide receiver, watch the head fake against Stelts. He's going to fake to the outside and go right up the seam. We've been saying this is the matchup. Fake outside, inside. That's just like, that's the first thing you learn in flag football. Give the little fake outside, throw it inside. It's a matchup we've been talking about in film that was there. They saw it in South Carolina. Wide open here, and Stelts had no chance. Seven plays, 80 yards, 82 yards. Well, they took a lot of time that time, two and a half minutes. They did, and they also <laughs> had a timeout in between uh, at the, their score field goal and a timeout after the touchdown. So I think this is about a six or seven minute rest for the defense. Also, they're only down six, they're not down 13. Trendon Holiday is. Uh, Back with Keelan Williams. Maste kicks it and he kicks it all the way back. That's the 13th touchback this year for Tim Maste. And this is with the uh, kickoff move back to the 30 yard line. First down and 10. Holiday nailed. Sam Maxwell, number 50, with the tackle. He ran right through Big Herman Johnson's block on that play and made the play. Watch number 50. Takes on Herman Johnson and then takes on Holiday. Tremendous play, something for Johnny Williams, the starter who's out with an injured foot on the play, on the, in the game, excuse me. Sam Maxwell gets a rest now, rushing yardage 228 for LSU. Second down, 15. Time of possession will add up. The wide receiver screens have been good to LSU in this down and distance. Will they dial it again? Matt Flynn back. Across the middle, tipped. Sailed on him. It was intended for Dixon, the tight end. Third and 15. I think back either early in the game when it was third and very long and Flynn scrambled for the first down. Right now. Kentucky has to make sure that if they go man to man, somebody's looking for Flynn. That play, Gary, was third and 18, and Flynn ran for 22. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was in the second quarter. Out of the backfield, left side, Hester tripped up. Wow. Oh, that saved a bunch. Wow. He might have had the first down. Trevard Lindley just made a great play. It wasn't an interception. It wasn't a fumble return for a touchdown, but it was a first down saving tackle. He ran right by Saran Black and made the tackle with his left arm. You see Hester. He thought he had it. Just his 
fingers of his left hand might have saved a first down on the play and could Kentucky could get the ball back with an opportunity to take the lead. That's the end of the third quarter with our score 27 21 LSU. We begin the final 15 in Lexington Kentucky 70,000 plus on hand. Top ranked undefeated LSU hangs on to a six point lead. Kentucky about to get the ball back. It's fourth down and 10 from the 31. Fisher's punt. DeMario Ford is back to return it. Let's it bounce and Brandon LaFell stops it at the 38 yard line. Well here we are beginning the final 15 27 21 Gary as much as anything I'm impressed with the tenacity and the resiliency of this Kentucky team. I, I am too I have to admit and these are a lot of guys that have been through a lot. They they were there 49 nothing. It's not about revenge for 49. It's about redemption redeeming yourself from that game and they have and I my mind they've gone into this football game and showed that they can match it up. They've done it with patience at the 49 yard line. They hand it off. That's it to the outside. Lock. Nifty run. LSU undefeated. They were ranked number two in the preseason. Southern California, of course, lost last week to Stanford. West Virginia now ranked eighth. Michigan. Two defeats to start the season. And Florida the loser last week. Every team in the top 10, but LSU has a loss. First down and 10. Left side, Kirsten Pittman is back there to force it inside. And they trail by six, second down and 10 officially. Woodson, draw play. Oh my, how about Locke? How about Derek Lock? Now, I just want you to think about this. This is the number one defense in the country. This is a track scholarship tailback that nobody in the country, Division I, wanted as a tailback. A lot of teams wanted him as a defensive back. He held out. Kentucky offers him a scholarship to run track. He begs the Kentucky coaches for an opportunity. And look what happened. Look over to the sideline for the play. It's be called by Joker Phillips upstairs. Play caught. They barely got it. Lock. Boy, he's good. Yes, he is. Holly Highsmith. The last two years, Andre Woodson has led this Kentucky team from behind. Georgia, Vanderbilt, and Louisiana Monroe last season against Louisville and Arkansas in 2007. Well, since 49 to nothing, they've won 10 and two. And those are all comebacks. Five of them have been fourth quarter comebacks. Do they get number six? Lock remains as the tailback on second down and six. Toss. Jail. Can't go. Can't go east west on this defense. Kirsten Pittman, number 49. He gets up limping. Demario Ford, number eight. He's at wide receiver, but it's the fake inside pitch to lock. Great job by Kristen Pittman to read that play. See how fast he moved? That's why it's hard to go east to west on this defense. That's Jai Eugene replacing Chevis Jackson. Woodson looks his way, nothing there. Goes deep in the end zone, and it's way beyond the end line. Fourth down. Yeah. If any positive yards there, you might think four down territory but on third and very long you got to make it a three point game. And so Lonis Sieber comes on he is seven of nine for the season. Long kick this season 48 yards. His two misses have come from 40 and 44 Lonis Sieber sophomore from Knoxville Tennessee. Mastay will hold 33 yard field goal to cut the margin to three. He's done it. Just under eight minutes to go. 27 24. LSU.
downtown in the beautiful city of Lexington, Kentucky. University of Kentucky campus not that far away from downtown. 27-24, 7.57 remaining. LSU played a home game last week as the number one team for the first time since 1959. They won that game in 59-7-3, went on the road the next week, and lost to Tennessee 14-13. Will the same fate occur again? Wow, what a weapon, huh? Being able to kick that ball that far like that. That's two touchbacks in this game. On first down. The toss. Jacob Hester. Tackled by Jeremy Jarman. Great defense. I'm looking at this Kentucky team now, and this is what I see. A lot of guys that now know they can compete with the best in the SEC. But competing and winning are two different things. Can they finish this thing off? Seven and a half to make that determination. Second and nine. Flynn out of the shotgun. Hester's alongside him. Play fake. Flynn goes deep. Brandon LaFell intercepted. Javard Lindley. They're different things. This guy, Lindley, knows how to compete, and he has produced winning plays in the past. Interceptions, fumble recoveries. He poked out a ball for a touchdown that was going to be a touchdown by South Carolina. He's in great position. He doesn't panic, gets it at the top, and Kentucky with the ball down three. Javard Lindley picks off Matt Flynn. Andre Woodson. For the game now, 14 of 26, he has been picked off twice. Play fake, deep left side, Johnson has it at the 20. Little Juke, he sets it up in the middle of the field at the 15-yard line. And they went at Jai Eugene, Absolutely. number four. Absolutely. Jackson has not got back it, but this is an NFL throw. This is why Woodson's going to go in the first round. Watch this rocket. That's about a 35 to 40 yard throw that never went more than 15 feet over the high and right in the throat. That is big time. And finally, because they were able to run the ball, the play action pass came through for a big play again. Woodson in the spread, hands it off. Derek Locke, the true freshman gets pushed forward. Tyson Jackson, how about this true freshman from Hugo, Oklahoma? Well, they've got it going. They're running the ball from the spread because they can throw the ball to the tight end. Oh, great block by Tammy. We said when Tammy comes in, he must be able to block, and he did a great job there to spring the freshman. Second and two at the eight, 5.57 to go. Two men wide right, one left. Johnson is to the left. They hand it off again, Lock. This time, nothing. It'll be third and one. Tyson Jackson, number 93, with that, the tackle. That's a big mismatch for Jacob Tammy to handle these defensive ends. But he's out there. He told us in that meeting Friday, we knew the rest of this conference wasn't coming down to our level. We have to step it up or we'll die. And he stepped it up. He was in there watching. What did he tell us? I'm watching blocking. It's come through on that play. Steve Johnson comes out. Demario Ford is a late add to the huddle. Third down and one. Under center, Andre Woodson. Demario Ford starts in motion. They hand it left. No. No, sir. Fourth down. Derry Beckwith, number 48. 84 Alem also got in on that play. I couldn't tell if under the knee Dorsey was, but I think Dorsey was on the bottom of it also. Dorsey right there, right in the middle. See if he's in on the play. Dorsey 
Beckwith, Alem, and actually Dorsey comes in late. Alem is there and Beckwith, wow, what a stop. And so Lonis Sieber, a sophomore from Knoxville, Tennessee, on to attempt the tying field goal from 28 yards. Tim Maste is the holder. Snap is good, hold is down, kick is up. We're tied at 27. I said last week we'll try and top this <laughs> next week. No one's handing you a national championship anymore. You got to earn it. 421 to go. Top ranked and undefeated LSU getting all it can handle from the Wildcats of Kentucky. LSU 6 and 0. Kentucky came in 5 and 1. Matt Flynn intercepted by Trevard Lindley on the last LSU possession. Stay with the kick. This one will be returned. It's Keelan Williams, number five. Flag is down. Another flag is down. Hester wow. to the 46 yard line. Clock will stop while they reset the chain. Who are you going to go to? Hester. And you're going to go to the left side of this offensive line behind Johnson and Black. I like the pace that LSU is using right here. They're either going to kick the winning field goal or Kentucky's not going to get the ball back. That's their strategy. They don't want to be in a hurry right now. Oh, boy. Sean Jordan knocked down by Wesley Woodyard. The first carry of the season for the fullback. Lost one. Colt David has kicked a couple today. Second down, 11. Colt David's career long, 45 yards. They've got quite a ways to go. Holiday, first time way out to the outside. Defenders play off of him. Flynn rolls out. He'll have to run it again. He goes left, pulls up. Now lobs oh, it deep man. over LaFell. Oh, man. Throw it right to him. He lobbed it. Third and 11. This is a bad one by Matt Flynn. This is one he'd love to have back. Flynn is going to come out, roll right. Now LaFell is wide open here. If you just throw it right at him, what? That was a, you, you know, you almost got to miss a guy like that. That's like maybe six foot too high on that throw. Third and 11. The winning plays aren't being made yet by LSU. They toss it out to Richard Murphy. And the four string tailback is out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Well, how do you do? The game's on the line, tied 27, and you put your number four tailback in. This was actually a lateral on this play. Big Herman Johnson's going to. No, it was Saran Black. I'm sorry, Saran Black comes out. And boy, Richard Scott comes out and makes that play. It was really a lateral. And Murphy, I'm sorry, comes out and makes that play. Woo, woo. Josh McManus, number 23, who is not among those on the depth chart, is on the field. He's wide right. They flip it out too far in front of Mitchell. Second down and 10. Hard to breathe. Imagine doing it. Actually, it's probably easier to play than it is if you're an LSU fan to watch. Second down and 10. It says it all, doesn't it? McManus wide left. Charles Scott is the running back alongside Matt Flynn. Blitz. Flynn up. Fires it for LaFell, one hopper, third and 10. 28 seconds to go. Pressure up front again. This time six are coming. Steve Brown brings, defensive coordinator brings an extra guy, brings the linebacker and just 
as he wants to let that go go through. Corey Peters, number 91, forced a short arm. So far in this drive, LSU has converted on third and 10, now third and 11, and here it is, third and 10 again. Yes, you're right. A scramble, a screen. What do they do this time? McManus and Mitchell wide left, LaFell bottom of the screen, wide right. They toss it out. Great defense. Charles Scott, 18 seconds to go. If I was Les Miles, I'd run it down to one second, call a timeout, and loft one into the end zone. Now the clock is at five. That may be exactly what he's got in mind. One second. Well, make it two. Timeout call. See, now you can go for it on fourth down with no risk of Kentucky getting the ball back. Uh, this has happened before here, hasn't it? A last second touchdown? Bluegrass miracle comes to <laughs> mind. Marcus Randall, Devery Henderson, the 33 30 LSU win. In a way, Rich Brooks could have taken a timeout. Well, here it was, November 9, 2002. There was the go ahead field goal. Guy Morris gets doused. Premature celebration. Here's Randall from his 18. Tipped twice by Kentucky defenders into the hands of Devery Henderson, who strolls in. Officially a 75 yard touchdown pass. And Colt David is coming on. Oh, interesting. His career long is 45. Matt Flynn holds. This is from 57 yards away. I think I'd rather just go for it, but he knows him. I'll go with Les Miles. On the way. No, short. But it wasn't that short. I, I think it, yep. it was that long enough. I could not tell at the end. That was inches away, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, let's watch this again. He rocketed it. It hooks just a bit. It was wide left. It was. I thought short. That it was, was wide that left. That was far enough. That was far enough. That would have made it. So Les Miles was right again inches away. Cole David, career long, 45 yards. Why not overtime? In overtime, all time, seven and one for LSU, one and two for Kentucky, and Craig Stelz is back on the field. Chevis Jackson is not. The report from Tracy Chevis Jackson, the cornerback, two swollen eyes. Jai Eugene, who was victimized on a big pass play to Steve Johnson, is at right cornerback, and Johnson lines up against him. Jai Eugene up close. Woodson scrambles, pulls up, lobs it incomplete, wide right. Jai Eugene down in the corner against Steve Johnson. There's Tyson Jackson. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. Whoa! Number 93 on the defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Got a whacked in the face as he let it go. It was Jackson. And that's the call right there. Easy call. Sure was. You know, you can understand the defender's reaching up with his hands. He just can't come forward and hit that quarterback. Now, obviously, Kentucky knows they got three points in their back pocket. Woodson under center now. Derek Locke, the freshman. They give it to Locke. He comes right, gets a couple of yards down near the 13 yard line. Derry Beckwith made the tackle, number 48. I mean, last week, Stanford beats USC with a sub quarterback. Can Kentucky <laughs> beat LSU with a track guy at tailback? Ran track at Hugo, Oklahoma. Right. I mean, I'm giving up my expert stuff. I, I don't have any idea what's going on anymore. Second down eight at the 13-yard line. 
Kentucky opted to uh, play offense going into the student section at the right side. All the LSU fans way 100 yards away. Here's Locke. And Tyson Jackson, who just committed that infraction, the personal foul, makes the tackle here. Well, six top five teams have already lost this season. Michigan, West Virginia, Oklahoma, Florida, Wisconsin, and Southern Cal. It's third down and eight, and Locke is still the tailback. Johnson right side this time. Vicky Lyons in the slot to the left. Woodson with some pressure inside. Johnson to the one. Well, when the Louisville game was on the line, he went to Johnson. In the first half, when they were behind, he went to Johnson. Now on third down, it's Johnson again. How about that protection? That play took a while, and LSU's front four did not put any pressure that time at all. And that was one of the keys to the game. Could they protect Woodson? That time, that offensive line stepped up. First and goal from the one. Derek Locke is a deep back. They give it to Locke and he's driven backwards. Man. Al Woods, number 97, up high, shoulder high. Well, Locke was a 25-foot long jumper in high school. He tries to jump six feet, but Al Woods is in the way. Second and goal from the one in overtime. First possession for Kentucky against the undefeated top ranked LSU Tigers. Locke is the deep back. Grinter, number 40, is the blocking back. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Wildcats. Boy, this was so close. I thought Highsmith was right there. Woods was right there. All you have to do is break the plane. Ollie Highsmith runs by him. Beckwith, wow, Beckwith just noses him up there. I couldn't tell. Nope. Derek Locke has carried 18 times for 63 yards and a touchdown in overtime. Lonis Sieber with the extra point. Kentucky up by seven. <laughs> Matt Flynn out of the backfield. It's Murphy right side inside the 20 down to the 17 yard line. Second down. Double tight end, Richard Dixon and Keith Zinger. It's second down and two. Zinger goes left, Dixon right. The wide receivers are Mitchell top of the screen, LaFell at the bottom. And off Hester. Puts his head down and bulls inside the 10. First and goal, Louisiana State. Once you gain seven or eight yards on first down, you know you're going to go with Hester. He's got three downs to make a first down. He only needed one. What a big block up front that time by Carnell Stewart behind Kit, Lyle Kit, Brett Helms. Right side looks as strong as the left side to me of this LSU line. LaFell and Mitchell wide left. McManus wide right. First and goal, Flynn, play fake. Comes right, looks for Dixon, fires it low. Dixon with the catch down around the knees. See, Dixon's such a, a much better athlete. He can grab. That wasn't a great throw. You know, the I'm not, I'm not picking on Zinger. He, he is what he is. He's, you know, he's a blocking tight end. Here, this poor throw 
Dixon's able to grab it around his ankles and get down there in a position where they're on the what two three yard line. Yes. J.D. Lott is in as an extra tight end. Tight right. This is Zinger. Now comes back to the right side. They pitch it out. Left side. Murphy strolls in untouched. LSU an extra point away from the tie in overtime. Same play that was used against Florida to score a touchdown. Fake the power to the right. Quick pitch. Murphy takes it into the end zone. This is an NFL type play. You've seen Reggie Bush run this play. It's not really an option. It just flow him one way. Kentucky has to sell out and you just put the speed on the clock. Colt David to tie it up. Perfect. We go to the second overtime. Richard Murphy takes it around the left side, goes in untouched. The All-American Glenn Dorsey gives his approval. First down and 10, Matt Flynn, fifth-year senior from Tyler, Texas. He's got Hester, Terrence Tolliver, and LaFell of the wideouts, bottom of the screen. Toss, Hester, right side. A couple of yards. Braxton Kelly, number 56, made the tackle. LSU at one point led 27-14. Kentucky fought back, made it 27-21, 27-24, and then 27 all. Second yeah. down and nine. We have not seen Ryan Parley, which takes that option game off the table for LSU. Trendon Holiday, the speedster is wide to the right with Mitchell. There are three men, wide left, empty backfield. Flynn play fake under real pressure. Sacked. Ventrell Jenkins, number 95, the first there. I'll tell you, Steve Brown piled up the blitz, but they twisted to the side. Watch this, coming around this way into the inside. A twist inside. I think it was Dominic Lewis comes in free, number 20. Or it was 99, I'm sorry, it was Jeremy Garman, the guy on the fence that came in and made that play. LaFell, wrong side, redirected by Matt Flynn. Three-man rush, they drop eight. Win, deep left side. Demetrius Bird with a catch at the 21 yard line. It will be fourth down, and that takes 18 yards off the field goal attempt. And that was surprising. Kentucky came with a three man rush that time, allowed Flynn to sit back and really put LSU in field goal range now. Cole David, the junior from Grapevine, Texas has scored a touchdown this year on a fake field goal, a toss from Flynn. He just missed wide left on the last play of regulation from 57. This is from 38 to give LSU the lead. Got it. Tigers by three. And now Kentucky comes back on offense. He played safe again just to make sure that it was a field goal kick. Good hold by Flynn. He twisted the laces, and David puts it in there. Now, three-point game. David gets a pat on the head. Three-point game. Kentucky's in three-down territory. Andre Woodson, the senior from Radcliffe, Kentucky. If they get close, we'll... Will Brooks go for the win here? That's... <laughs> this, uh. is, this is fun, I gotta say. First down and 10. Here's Woodson, play fake. Goes right side. Lock can't hang on, the freshman. And it's second down and 10. That might be the one time you're going to miss a Rafael Little, who's so good coming out of the backfield, handling those passes. 
Locke has been money running the ball, but it looked to me on that one, he was a little uncomfortable catching it coming out of the backfield. That LSU defense, that bonded defense, has given up two touchdowns and two field goals the last four times. Can they get a stop? Second down and 10 out of the spread. Fumble! Woodson, one hop, it comes right back in his hands. He's hit as he lets it go, it's incomplete. He got a fortuitous bounce of the football. Well, it was a perfect snap, and it is Kentucky, so they should be able to be handling bouncing balls around here, right? Huh. Hits them right in the three. He's a high school basketball player. He said, that's the only thing I ever beat Brian Brown in is basketball. And he was lucky to get it away. Danny McRae was coming and was very close to him. Third and ten. LSU leads by three. Jacob Tammy is out. Demario Ford, an extra wide receiver, is in. LSU brings seven up on the line. And they bring all seven. Blitz! Woodson hit! Derry Beckwith came up the middle untouched. And so Lonis Sieber will come on to try and extend the game. It's fourth and ten. You know, I'm surprised Kentucky didn't look left here. They had the substituted defender. And he looked right. He had Jai Eugene on the receiver and could not get it. Maste is the holder. Lonis Sieber, sophomore from 43 yards away to extend the game. It's a three-man operation. Snap, hold, kick. Right down the pipe. And because it is a three-man operation, we should mention the third. Brad Hart, redshirt freshman from Marion, Kentucky. Well, I have a good friend, the late Governor Louis Nunn, who would say right now, let's step aside. First down and 10, Kentucky will go on offense at the Kentucky student end of the field. Woodson, toss it, lock, chased, caught, beautiful play. That was Luke Sanders, number 35. That's a guy you don't call a lot because of these substituted defenses. He doesn't get the play when it goes spread. Same play that LSU scored. Fake one way, go the other way. And Luke Sanders runs it down. Look at that play. Second down and nine. Dickie Lyons, Jr. And Keenan Burton come wide right. Steve Johnson is wide left. On second and nine out of the spread, LSU showing a blitz look. They are not blitzing. Pass is caught at the 19-yard line by Dickey Lyons, Jr. Third down. Again, nice patience. Sticking to the game plan. You want to move the pocket a little bit. You don't want to. Last time it was the blitz, remember? Woodson had problems with him getting hit on second and third down. Now they move the pocket in the launch point. Derek Locke is the tailback. Again, Woodson will go from the spread. Well, there's the matchup right there, I think. You got a rookie coming in at corner. And that's the senior Burton against Jai Eugene. They go that direction. Got him. That's Dickie Lyons Jr. As he cut inside. See what happens here because Eugene needs help. They're really going to favor. See, right here, this guy's going to try to help this guy. When he comes down, the slot goes into the set. We got a, we got a little weakness. Cross him. Go against the rookie. They might have supposed to have switched. Who knows? But that's the matchup that favors Kentucky right now. Jai Eugene out there because they're misses, missing Jackson. That's Chavis Jackson out with two swollen eyes in the fourth quarter. First and goal, Kentucky. One again up to the top of the screen. That's Johnson. They go toward him. <laughs> Jai Eugene looked back to see if he was going to get flagged. I know. It was, yeah. a, it was a wrong shoulder. They call it a back shoulder fade. 
was not a perfect pass. Had it been, it could have been completed. Jai Eugene did a good, nice job here. It's a back shoulder fade. If you can't beat him early, quarterback and receiver are both expecting the ball to be thrown to the outside. In overtime, Kentucky scored a touchdown. LSU tied it with a TD. LSU scored a field goal. Kentucky tied it with a field goal. And now it's second and goal. 37 all. Woodson comes right, half roll into the end zone, incomplete. Third and goal. It's the one part of the field right here without a running quarterback that the defense can kind of tee off, and it's why it's forcing Kentucky to roll Woodson. Well, on a third and long previously, we saw Derry Beckwith come on the blitz. See what LSU has in mind now. Looks like they've got Definite help out here. Look four down. This. Yes, indeed. Woodson has the snap on third and goal. Fires it in the end zone. Tapped and complete. A flag is down. Flag incomplete. Intended for Tammy, the tight end. Holding. Number 27 on the defense. On an eligible receiver. Doing a legal forward pass play. The penalty is half the distance from, to the goal. And an automatic first down. Now he said 27. Yeah, that must have been away from the play. I thought Beckwith held Tammy on the play. Here's, here's the matchup that I saw. Here's the call over here to the other side. Watch Beckwith grab Tammy right there. That's what I thought the play was clearly called, but maybe it happened somewhere else. It results in the first and goal. Here's the handoff. No. Woodson fires it. Out of bounds, near the one. Maurice Grinter, the backup fullback, one catch on the season coming into this game. Yeah, but when we talked to Joker Phillips, he said he's our best receiving fullback, and he said, watch him next year. He might be our tight end. In the spring, we could move him there. So you could see the call was comfortable to throw the ball to the fullback, number 40. And again, the holding call was on Curtis Taylor, yeah. number 27. Must have grabbed the receiver coming across him that we just didn't see. Locke, the deep man in the eye. Grinter is the fullback. They hand it to Locke. No, I don't believe so. Curtis Hold Taylor was among those up high, and Derry Beckwith, the middle linebacker, first there. Third and goal. Let's go, hold. Well, I tell you, nobody can even get near Beckwith. They are just uh, no timeouts here, is there? No. They have used their timeout. Third and goal. Lions in the slot to the left. Coming after him here. Burton is the wide receiver left, and Johnson bottom of the screen. Woodson pumps once, hit from behind in the end zone. Diving catch. Hello alone. Steve Johnson. Woodson very slow getting up. Steve Johnson, who caught the 57-yarder that gave Kentucky the win over Louisville. And you must go for two in the third overtime. I'll tell you, there was a protection scheme by Kentucky that made the slant and go possible that really outfoxed LSU on that play because they came all out and it was a beautiful protection scheme on the play that allowed Woodson to get rid of it. That is coaching, boy, I'll tell you. Now, the try for two, 43-37. Locked to the right, Lions in the slot, they'll load it up to the right side. Woodson in the smoke, rolls out, under pressure, fires. Incomplete. I'll tell you, you watch a freshman. Now look at the scheme here. LSU's coming from both sides. I'll show you what happens on this because it's a slant and go. I wonder that he had too much time. Locke is lined up to the left, but he comes over to his right to take on Highsmith. 
That gives him time too late to the backside. A pump fake on a slant and go on an all out blitz. McCray should have made the play. He wasn't fast enough. Watch this. Slant and go. Zenon says there's no way they have time to run a slant and go. Zenon tries to grab him, doesn't do it. Andre Woodson threw it. Steve Johnson caught it. Now LSU in the smoke of a Saturday evening in Lexington. They trail by six. Flynn. Hand off Hester. Five yards Hester to the 20 yard line. For LSU. LSU can be comfortable running the ball because it's obviously four down territory. They believe if they run Hester or Williams or Scott or Murphy four times, they're going to pick up a first down. Second down four. 43 37. We were tied 27 all at the end of regulation. Richard Murphy, the four string tailback, is in there. They come right and get nothing. Hester. Hester. Early Doucette is making his first appearance on the field. Wow. Best receiver for LSU. He's been out for the last four games with a groin injury. He goes in the slot to the left side. Can't save him now, I guess. Third and four. They hand it off to Hester. It'll be Hester. fourth down. It's a nice plan there. Put out to set in the slot, hoping maybe two guys would go with him, get better numbers, and still run the ball inside. Hester really limping now. Really limping now. All those fourth down calls last week. LSU needs another one. And Hester, Mr. Fourth Down himself, is limping out. Fourth and two. Top ranked Louisiana State University. Five for five on fourth downs a week ago in the win over Florida. It's fourth and two now. You've got to get two yards. Flynn. Scott. I don't know. I don't think so. No way. Kentucky wins. The goalposts have been taken down at both ends. My gosh. Let's go down to Tracy with Rich Brooks. Actually, I'm right here with the winning quarterback, Andre Woodson, in the middle of this madness. Come from behind for us in overtime to knock off the number one team in the country. What does this team prove today? Well, I think it just proves that, you know, um, we're a team that obviously earns a lot more respect now. and. You know, we've come a long way from being the doormat at SEC to now, you know, um, competing against the best teams in SEC conference and uh, getting some big wins. So um, right now, hopefully it just continues because we know we got a big game next week. And uh, we're very happy, very excited. But at the same point, we know we have a lot more to accomplish. How much does this win mean to you and all the seniors that have been through so much with this team? Well, it means a lot to us because, you know, we've been through a lot. And, uh, you know, finally get to this point where we're winning the games we are, people respecting us, communities embrace us, you know, it's fabulous. So uh, right now we know, you know, this, this feeling is going to be with us for a long time, but at the same point, we feel like we got a lot more to accomplish this year, and we're very excited about it. Good luck and enjoy the victory. Thank you. Final score, 43-37. Kentucky goes from 4-8 to 2-9 to 3-8 to 8-5 a year ago. They're 6-1 now. For Tracy Woodson and Gary Danielson, Vern Lundquist will see you from Lexington next Saturday.